We had a major issue on the production line earlier this week, so the entire development package for this weekend has failed. Any redevelopments will need to be ordered from the R&D screen. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Practice sessions are vital for the continuing development of the car. But if you need to, you can use quick practice to direct the session instead. It won't be as effective as having you behind the wheel yourself, but it's better than missing the session entirely. Right, I'll get these changes made.
The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's 730 metres from pole position down to a slippery turn one here, the first of 16 corners around this 2.89 mile racetrack. The long wide turn three and the uphill right-hander of turn nine can both be taken full throttle in the right conditions, but I doubt very much we'll be seeing any of that today. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, Lando Norris, and Ricardo, Leclerc, Sainz, Stroll and Pierre Gasly, Fernando Alonso, Jackson, Esteban Ocon and Sonoda, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher and George Russell, Latifi and Nikita Mazepin. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race.
Okay, we lost the position. Try to keep focus. this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Sit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pit. Complete. Go now. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Soon, back to dry shortly. Okay, good work, great pass. has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. No rain expected for the time being. Dries seem like the best tyre for now. Laps of fuel remaining.
We've only got two laps of fuel left. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, Ferrari have improved their position. A strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one.